I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis. Check it out, another quad from Full Speed. You know, these guys recently have been really getting some attention on my channel and uh, I really loved the Leader 120 by Full Speed over here. And if you don't know about them, that's the name of the company, uh, Full Speed. Now, it's definitely way different than flying something a little bit smaller with 2035 props, these larger style props. These are very forgiving and they float a lot and they do freestyle really well. So if you want to fly a micro and be able to have some hang time and some float and some forgiveness, these are great quads. These are good size, this 120 and 130. Uh, I've really been stuck on 95 millimeter quads for uh, about six months. And uh, I just got a little bigger prop on here than those other micros I've been flying. And, and I'm really enjoying this. It seems to be kind of the sweet spot for a brushless micro uh, without going full size into something like uh, a 150 or even adding larger motors like brother hobby motors uh, for s animals they're a lot different and they're they are quite a bit bigger um, and heavier than these little quads so i find a lot of enjoyment out of flying these quads um, mainly because i can fly them in smaller spaces uh, people don't notice them they're a lot quieter than the bigger quads with that said they do fly a lot like the big quads, which I really, really like. Um, and they fly on these tiny 2S batteries. Now you'll notice that I upgraded this battery from what was originally on there. It had a red JST connector on here, and I cut that off, uh, mainly because these ESCs that are on these two quads, they like to be uh, getting the best voltage possible. They do also like to have a high motor idle inside Betaflight. If you set it to 10 or 11, you're not going to have any brownouts on your ESCs. They're not going to flip over and give you the spin of death and hit the ground. Um, so all the batteries that I flew today with this one out in the field over on the left there, um, the Fighter 130 did extremely well with the Leader 120 props on there. Um, for me, that's what I was looking for, that little bit of extra hang time. Uh, and if you want to run a speed prop on there, you can use these props that came along with it. Uh, these dual blade props are, are just fine for this Fighter 130. Uh, but I, I didn't want to really go super fast. I just wanted to see how much control and boost and float I could get out of a tri-prop on this particular aircraft. And uh, it was actually surprisingly quite good. Now, as most of you guys know that watch my channel, I did give... The Leader 120, a really great review. I, I love this quad, and this has been my go-to quad uh, for several weeks now since that review, and I also was able to upgrade it with a Runcam Micro on here uh, with full OSD, all that good stuff. You know, both of these quads are running the Omnibus F, uh, F3 on here, and as soon as I got this one, I realized it didn't have a receiver on it, so I had to uh, add my own FR Sky receiver on there, which is not a big deal. But don't do like I did and put it over top of this without pulling this FPV antenna up through the top. Uh, so I'm going to have to take this back off right here. It's just kind of uh, VHB down. And go ahead and pull this antenna right here out the top. You will get way, way better signal than I was getting. Uh, I was having some issues out in the field, uh, mainly because I didn't make this antenna go straight up. You're going to need to do that and figure out some way to mount your receiver in there um, you're just going to get a way better signal laying down not so good but I, I was able to fly in pretty close proximity and uh, do just fine with that now looking at these quads um, this one is a 130 and this one is a 120. now the leader 120 is a little different frame design look at the profile on the sides see how this one's kind of the uh, leader 120 over here is rounded out in the front and my actually i couldn't get this a little lower because this kind of hits this little post down here uh, so it's got some structural issues where the camera has to ride up a little bit higher like this. But for the fighter, I, I'm really not going to be able to put uh, a run cam micro in the fighter, mainly because this Leader 120 is wider. You can see it's just a little bit wider, wide enough, just wide enough to co accommodate the run cam micro. So you're not going to be able to do that with fighter unless you figure out a way to just open that up a little bit. But uh, um, you might be able to mod it but I think I would probably just leave the camera in here 
that's already in here. Now it does have, I believe that's an 800 TVL, no, 600 TVL camera on here. Uh, and, and from my video, you'll see it coming up in just a few minutes. This is a really nice quality camera. I do have a VTX button right there, as you can see. I've got that antenna finally sticking up right there. And you have some 3D printed parts in here as well, this back bumper kind of keeps uh, your crashes off of your main board down here. We have 10 amp BL Heli ESCs, which are running DSOT 600, which is super awesome. It's a, digi it's a digital uh, signal coming to the ESCs, very, very nice and to the motors. Now the motors are what are awesome about this full speed quad. Uh, these are 1106 7500 KVs. So as you guys are going to see, in just a minute, when I show you this line of sight flight test with it, these things have some serious punch out, uh, especially with these props. Now they were singing a little bit, and I don't know if that's the bearings in these motors singing or it's the props themselves, but there was a little bit of a whistle um, when I first spooled it up, kind of strange. Now my camera setup on my Fighter 130 is definitely a little bit more protective of the FPV camera. You can see it's pretty much behind and the lens doesn't stick out on the front. It's actually recessed a little bit right there, which is great uh, for when you go in to, to crash. Uh, very, very important. Uh, and by the way, I've told you guys about these props before. I don't have a link to these yet. If, if they pop up on GearBest sites, uh, I would definitely share a link with you guys because um, these props are super indestructible. Like they, I've bent them almost to a 90 degree bend. I've actually accordioned them as well, Z-Bend, and I bent them back and kept flying. It's kind of amazing. I've also flown with a little bit of a, a bent prop and uh, a little bit of vibration, but I still flew through it. Um, but you want to check your props every time you land and come in and, and put a fresh battery on. Now you're looking at the bottom of the Fighter 130 and the hardware here is recessed on the bottom, front and back, and for the flight controller. And you also have 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter mounting space for your flight controller, which is super awesome because unlike the King Kong GT series, they had that odd spacing there. So you couldn't use any other ESCs uh, or flight controllers except their own. Um, this one is not being super proprietary. So if you brown out these ESCs, totally, they totally fail or you burn one up, you can replace it. That's, that's not going to be a big deal. Same thing with the flight controller and everything on here is kind of built really nice. All the wires are already bound up and they're not hanging out. Uh, they didn't even need to be taped down, which was kind of cool. So I gotta say, this is one of the better ones, um, that I've flown recently, mainly because it has a little more power than the leader 120. And you guys know, I love that one. Um, so this prop size is really winning me over. Um, we're at two and a half to three inch props are absolutely awesome. They are a blast on brushless micros. So anyway, guys, without further ado, why don't we go ahead outside and uh, let's give this little guy a flight test. We'll do line of sight first, and then we'll do some FPV with the fighter 130. I'm just testing out these props, uh, mainly because I felt like it would give it more punch. I do hear kind of a whistle, and there goes the beep. But I do have the motor idle set pretty high in beta flight. Pretty amazing punch out though. I was kind of expecting that from this power system. A little better than the Leader 120. I'm imagining that the uh, double blade props would probably have less of a, a motor ramp draw. So you're gonna get a longer flight time and probably a faster quad. But for freestyle, if you're gonna freestyle with this one, you could put these uh, tri-props on there, 
same ones as the Leader 120, and you'll have a nice floaty feeling quad. Just won't get as long of a flight time. Oh wow, it flies really, really well, line of sight. It's a lot of fun. Look at that punch out. Man, it's almost getting carried away by the wind. It's above the trees. Pretty awesome. I can't wait to FPB this. It's gonna be a pretty fun experience. All right, I'm just gonna leave the throttle alone for a second for you guys, just let you see how stable it is. And I'm still, I've been flying in Acro this whole time, so. Pretty nice control. I test flew this one right in the shop this morning after I set it up. And I was impressed with uh, how smooth it seemed to be right there in the shop. I'm always kind of afraid that it's going to fly up and hit the ceiling, but it was really smooth with the throttle. Running D-Shot 600 seems to be a perfect match for the setup. So it's beeping now. I'm going to go ahead and set it down and we'll do some FPV with this guy. Fighter 130. Pretty awesome so far. Hopefully I don't have any brownouts. Here we go. 